All right, first and foremost, I want to give all <coughs> the honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Baha Makar Kadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai, in whom I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, right, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, but to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right, and I want to say to what Yahawa, to what Yahawa Yahushai, to what Yahawa, to what Yahawa Yahushai for allowing me to minister to the elect within these last days. All right, and this lesson, Lord willing, this ain't going to be too long because there's a lot of stuff that's going on around the corner. There was an incident, I think it was a stabbing or whatever. So, Lord willing, this ain't going to be too long and we move on. All right, this is why I like to move from, from, from place to place. Right? But a lot of things are happening in this world. So we're going to bring it out and Lord willing, this will be edifying. Okay? So I want to start off on 2nd Ezra, chapter 14 and 14. It says, let go from me now, mortal thoughts. So guess what we have in the truth? We have mortal thoughts. The scriptures are telling us to let go of the mortal thoughts that we have. Right? And you know what mortal thoughts mean? Liable thoughts. You know, the things that can weigh us down in this truth. Right? The things that can really, really hold us back. What does that lead to? Having mortal, liable thoughts, carnal thoughts. Right? That are not really catered to the truth. Right? So it says, cast away the burdens of man. What? With all the things within this society. Right? The burdens of man would be the cares of this world. The things that are holding us down. That's what the scripture says. Cast down or cast away the burdens of man. You can hear them sirens, right? And that's what we've got to do, cast off the burdens of man, which is what the anxieties and the cares of this world. And the things that what hold us back that morning. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay. Putting that off now, the weak, the weak nature. Right? So let's put that aside. This weak nature. You know, how, how am I gonna get through this? How am I gonna get through that? Well you have a show, he's always making a way. Every single day, you have a show making a way. Right? That's when we put off that weak nature. We're not in the times of being weak. Now we get weak in the spirit, but then we get strengthened. Right? Put off now the weak nature. Right? And cast off the mortal thoughts of man. So this is what we're supposed to be doing. Right? You're upset. What's wrong? <laughs> cast off the burdens of man. It's the anxieties of this world that get people down. Right? So we need to cast off them burdens. Right? Of man. Right? Because Esau wants our people to continually be in war, right? In bondage, right? In misery, right? And it says, Babkasha, Babkasha. Put off now the weak nature. So a lot of people have a weak nature about them. It just tells us, put off now the weak nature. So as men, we're not supposed to have a weak nature about us. Now, do we get weak in the spirit? Yeah. We get weak in the spirit. So like, do we get weak in the flesh? Yeah. But in the spirit, we're supposed to become what? Strengthened day by day. We're supposed to be strengthened. That's why it says, Pete, put off that weak nature. Right? And it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Right? So that's what we want to be doing, right? Setting aside the most what the most thoughts that are heavy unto thee, the things that are weighing us down. Because bro, this happens to all of us. 
Satan can put certain thoughts in your head, or maybe we, we have another, you know, 10, 5 years here, maybe I can get this done, maybe I can get that done. So you got to put that off, right? got to put that off, right? Or um, the children, or this one, your wife, it could be anything, it could be anything, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. So that's what we've got to be doing. Right? Setting aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto us. Right? Put that aside. And the most heavy unto thee. And haste to flee from these times. So really, we want to be hasting to flee from these times that we are in. Right? Hasty. Right? Because these are some evil times. Right? So we haste to flee from these times. And bro, it's daylight. You got your lights on and it's daylight. You're a fucking idiot. Uh -huh. People are dumb. Right? It's daytime, but you got your bright lights on. You're fools. Anyways, bear me just a minute. He probably, he probably was paid to do that, told to do that. I'll switch your light, switch your bright lights on. And it says, Mother Kasha. Set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste to flee from these times. So really, that's what we want to do. Flee from these times that we are living in. Right? Spiritually. Right? The scripture says, Arise ye and depart. Micah 2 and 10. For this is not your rest. He will utterly destroy you with a sore destruction. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, For yet graver evils than those which thou hast seen shall happen shall be done hereafter, greater evils, right? So really, yeah, you've got all these different things going on. you got what, the Titanic, that sub, what, that um, submarine, right? They all died. You've got so many things going on. Helicopters falling out of the sky, right? What else? Uh, incident around the corner. Worse than this, what, we, what we're seeing is gonna happen. Everything's just gonna be amplified. Bro, it's going to be just like destruction after destruction. It's going to be different things we're going to see. Right? And our spirit needs to be right with Yahweh Shai when all these things come to pass. Right? And ultimately, the elect are going to be right anyway. Right? This, bro, it's an evil time. Right? Every single day you're having something kind of new, some type of tragedy, some type of thing going on. Right? For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen shall happen, shall be done hereafter. Greater. Right? Greater. And bro, this is, London is, it's just, it's an unclean frog. It's known, remember what? London is one of the unclean frogs, so there's a lot of wickedness that goes on within the society. A lot. And it's all going to get quenched. Right? All your stupid Masonic fraternities, all that's gonna all that's gonna get out the window. Right? A lot of a lot of what these people do is all a lot of it is staged anyway. Most of what these people do in their lives is staged. Right? Bro, you don't you get fed up with this wicked society. If it gets up to a point, you get fed up. Right? But not to the point where you want to give up, you just get fed up. Verse 17. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. Right? So much more the evil shall increase upon them that dwell therein. So he's saying evils are going to increase on this world. Right? You're going to see much more evil happen. Right? Rioting. Right? Pestilence. Right? All these things, right? and you're gonna see it on a large scale as well. Right? All these things, yeah, rioting, looting, you know? people turn on each other. Bro, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see, bro, it's gonna turn cold out here. Okay, and it says about the upon them that dwell therein. For the truth is fled far away. So within the society, remember they're trying to do away with truth. So this society upholds lies, right? That's why it says truth is fled far away. Because this realm 
this satanic realm, what does it do? It upholds, it, it upholds lies. That's why it says truth is far, fled far away, right? Oh, it's, it's on the earth, but it's very rare that you run into someone that accepts the truth, all of the truth, not some. And it says Baba Kishan. And leasing is hard at hand. What's leasing? Deceit. Right? That's what leasing is. It's deceit. Right? So it's leasing is hard at hand. Right? And it says Baba Kishan. Baba Kishan. And now, right? Hasted the vision to come which thou hast seen. And then I answered the before thee and said, Behold, Lord, I will go as thou hast commanded me and reprove thy people. So a lot of the time, that's what one says to do. Go out and reprove the people. Tell them what they need to hear. Not, the, well, not, not what they want to hear. You tell them what they need to hear. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, reprove thy people. Right? Which are present. Those that are present at this current time. We're supposed to be reproving it. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, which are present, but they shall be born after the future admonish them. Thus the world is set in darkness. So this current world we're living in, yeah, is set in darkness. Right? It's a very, very, very dark world. We are living in right now. Right? And we're supposed to approve the works. Right? Here it is an ambulance on my left. Uh -uh -uh. Right. Yeah. So this is this, 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 this the spirit. This is the spirit. Many more evil shall um, continue. And this is the topic I was thinking about before I left. And these are, this is just the beginning. Right? Soon there ain't going to be no more ambulances to help you out. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. For the law is burnt, burnt, the law is burnt. Right? Esau, remember, Esau wants to get rid of the scriptures and what we teach. That's why it says the law is burnt. Right? Wherefore no man knoweth the things that are done of thee. All the works that shall begin, but I have found grace before thee. Send the Holy Spirit into me, and I shall write all that has been done in the world. Uh, right, it was what? A scribe as well. The prophets were also known as scribes. Right? You write down what you see, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, since the beginning which were written, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, the law that men may find thy path and that they may, which, which will live in the latter days, may live. So also write down the things that pertain to life and what we can do to get right, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, and answered me saying, right? Go thy way and gather the people together and say unto them that they seek thee not for forty days, but look, they'll prepare thee many a box, trees, and take with thee Sarah, Sarah Deborah, Salima, Akanus, Asian, these five which are ready to write swiftly. And come hither, and I shall light a candle, keeping a candle, okay? Of understanding, okay, in thine heart, right, which shall not be put out till the things be performed, which thou shalt begin to write, right. And it says, Baba Kasha, and when thou hast done some things, thou shalt publish some things, shall thou show secretly to the wise, right. Tomorrow, this hour, right, shall begin to write. Right? That even shows you the prophets, they were inspired by Yahweh or Yahweh Shai to write the things that they saw. Right? Divinely inspired. Okay? When went I forth as he commanded and gathered all the people together and said, Heard these words, O Israel, O fathers, at the beginning was, we were strangers in um, Egypt. Right? From whence they were what? Delivered. Right? Yeah, we were once strangers in the land of Egypt. Right? And it says, Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar, and received the law of life. 
which they kept not, which they also transgressed after them. Then was the land, even the land of Zion, parted among you by lot, by your fathers, and ye yourselves have done unrighteousness, and have not kept the ways which the highest commanded you. And for as much as he is a righteous judge, he took from you, he took from you in a time the thing that he had given you. And now you are here and your brethren among you. So he was explaining our captivity and why we are in this condition. Right? Therefore, if so be that you will subdue your understanding, which is humbling ourselves, and reform your hearts, reform, re-back form under the image of Yahweh Shai. Alright? You shall be kept alive. And after death you shall obtain mercy. Right? By reforming our hearts, by reforming our minds. Yeah? That's how we're able to obtain that mercy. See, it's very simple what Yahweh Shai requires of us. Very, very, very simple. Right? That we just do the right thing. Right? And it says Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha. And it says, For after death shall the judgment come and we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest. So remember, you're gonna get judged. Right? Now what you you already get judged, you get judged on earth, right? But when you go before the throne, the Lord writes down everything that you've done when you're on the throne, everything. Alright? And that gets written down according to whether you've done good or bad okay and it says and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and lord willing lord willing lord willing more than righteous men right humbly we say that as long as you're doing the things that that you have shall requires right and the name of the righteous shall be what written down all right and the works of the ungodly shall be declared so the works of the righteous and the works of the ungodly right shall be declared in that time right and it says Baba Kisha. so I want to quickly go to Daniels just fly him with the score right let's go to Daniels Baba Kisha, I think it's Daniels 12 Daniel's 12. Right. And at that time, Michael shall stand, you know, up the great prince, Micah Allah. Right? So Micah Allah would represent the angel. Okay? For the truth of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. Right? Such as not was since there was a nation at that same time. It's going to be a time of trouble, great trouble, right? As as was not seen since before the before time, right? And it says Baba Kishar, such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time. At that time, my people shall be delivered. So there's going to be a remnant that are going to be delivered, right? Okay. Many of our people are going to be delivered. Uh, many of our people are going to be destroyed. Alright? And it's spiritual as well. You know how many times I've been teaching and people walk past and they drop something? That's the angel knocking it out of their hand. Probably because they have evil intentions. Alright? But anyways. And it says, Everyone that shall be found written in the book. What? The book of life. So we want to be found written in the book of life. Right? And it says Baba Kasha, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Right? Some to everlasting. Check this out. Right? Some to everlasting life. And some to everlasting shame. So two thirds of our nation, they're gonna wake up to everlasting shame. Because they're not right. They need to get put down. Right? Two thirds of our people, they're degenerates. Right? They don't know how to act. That's why they're going to get put down. Right? And it says, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So, two thirds of our people, what, what are they going to have? Shame and everlasting contempt in the kingdom. 
right, for that a thousand years, right? Lest they get right on this side. If they don't get right, they're going to have nothing but everlasting shame and contempt. So we want to do this on the first go round. We want to make sure we're right with Yahweh Shai. And we want to make sure we're acceptable in his sight. Right? And doing the things that please Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability. Because we know we ain't going to be perfect. We mess up. We make mistakes. Right? But it's about striving for perfection. And if you're doing that, well, can't really be mad at you. Right? See, there's a difference. Okay? So we went to that Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Right? So that's what we're going to keep on doing. Shining. Right? Those that be wise will shine as the brightness of the firmament. Right? So that's what we ought to do. Right? Be wise and you're going to have that light upon you. Right? And you're going to be shining. Right? In every way. Okay? As the brightness of the firmament. Okay, and it says Baba Kasha. Check this out. And it says, They that turn many to righteous as the stars forever and ever. Right? So, what would happen? Right? We're going to shine in. Look, we, no, the scripture says, let your, let your lights all shine. Right? Let your lights all shine so others may see your good work. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay? That's what we're supposed to be doing. And it says, Baba Kasha, but old Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Seal this book. Close it. Right? And what's the book? The Holy Scriptures. Right? Seal the book so it was closed. Right? It was shut for a particular moment, for a particular time. Seal the book. That's why it was so hard. The prophets, they had the visions, but in terms of Full, full understanding, they didn't have the full understanding. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, and seal the book. Right? The words of the book, even to the time of the end. When was the time of the end? When Yahweh Shai came on the scene. That was the time of the end. Right? When Yahweh Shai came on the scene. That was the beginning of the end of this wicked kingdom. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Many shall run to and fro, and the knowledge shall be increased. So, we're in that time now. Many shall run to and fro, and the knowledge shall be increased. So, no, we're in the, bro, we're in the time of knowledge, where this knowledge is being increased. Right? This knowledge, hey, that's just where, ready to shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So, this knowledge, guess what? It's being increased. Right? Many are running to and fro. Right? And that's the spirit, because as soon as I said that, you had a, a lad came out, started running. And knowledge shall be increased. So it's being increased. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, go to Revelations 5. Right? You are definitely in the last days. Definitely. According to prophecy, according to everything that's happening, we are in the last days. Right? Go to Revelation 5. Right? And I saw in the right hand of him, right? The right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Right? That sat upon the throne. Who's that? That's Yahweh Shai. See, Yahweh Shai, he's on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father. Right? Sitting upon that throne. And this way you've got you to believe this. Right? Yahweh is on the right hand side of the heavenly father. Sitting upon that throne. Right? Okay, here, here are all the, per all the perps coming out now. Right? And you're like, bro, I don't even try to focus on them too much. Because they're just all designed to try and throw you off. But they're perps. Right? They're just perps, man. Right? And it says, Revelations 5, sat up on the throne. You look at these people, they, bro, they act like degenerates. Right? Up to no good. What are you doing with yourself? Right? You're just being a perp for, for what, the other side. 
Right, that's why the Lord's going to open up on these people. And it says, Brother Kasha, Revelations. Right? Right. The set up on the throne. A book written within and on the back side. Right? Which is the Bible. Sealed with seven seals, so it was closed. The book was closed, but as we read in what Daniel's 12 and 4, sealed the words of this book, right? So that's what he done. He went and sealed the words of this book until the time of the end, right? You see the spirits that are on these people, right? The Lord is gonna, the Lord's gonna open up. The Lord's gonna open up. Right? Lord with him, we ain't gonna be too, um, here for too long. And it says Baba Kasha. And I saw a strong angel. Right? You got people just bugging out, you got people malfunctioning. <laughs> right? And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Who is worthy to open the book? Right? And loose the seals thereof. Right? And we know who that was, it's Yahweh Shai. And if you didn't know, now you know it's Yahweh Shai. He was the one that was worthy to open the book, right? And loose the seals thereof, right? What seals? Re-understanding, right? And it says, Baba Kishore, and no man in heaven nor on earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon, no man. Neither to look thereon upon this book, right? Except, Yahweh Shai. So Dan, that shows Daniel wasn't. Isaiah wasn't. Even though they have particular breakdowns. Right? It was only Yahweh Shai. Right? And that's how we're able to break down this truth to you today. Through Yahweh Shai. Right? And through his sacrifice. And was able to open a book needed to look there on right so the understanding wasn't really revealed fully right and it says Baba Kisha and I wept much because check this out no man was found worthy to open the book right so the only one who was worthy was Yahweh Shai to open that book up and it says Baba Kisha neither to look there on and one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, cry not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book. The root of David. So, who's the root of David? Solomon, right? Who's Solomon? Yahweh Shai. He was worthy to open that book. Right? <coughs> And loose the seven seals, which seven means completion. So there were seven seals. The book was completely locked, closed off. Them seven seals. Right? And I beheld him low in the midst, keeping in the midst of the throne and the four beasts. And in the midst of the elders stood the lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the most I sent forth into all the earth. And what does that represent? This is the lamb that has been slain. That who who is that? Ras who? Yahweh Shai. Huh? That lamb is Yahweh Shai. That was slain. Right? To receive that understanding. Huh? I just gotta say this, bro. A lot of our people, a lot of our people, they ain't gonna make it. And I know it sounds hard, but a lot of our just looking how things are going, a lot of our people ain't going to make it, right? But our thing is to get the blood of our hands, make sure we're teaching this word. So when all hell does break loose, bro, there's no excuse. It's like you saw, you heard this word, right? When these things start happening, bro, don't be surprised. We're seeing judgments happen. We're seeing things happen. Don't be surprised, right? They've got people, they've got people monitoring you, right? Because they sold their soul. Right? But you know what? That doesn't really matter anyway. Right? Yeah, you've got people monitoring us because they sold their soul. You've got people with these demonic networks. Yeah. Right? Working with Satan. But they sold their soul. 
right? You can monitor, bro, you can monitor us all you want. All you're gonna monitor us is what? Us growing in the truth and you declining, right? So while you're monitoring us, we're, we're telling you about your own demise, right? We're telling you about your own demise. Why you monitor us? Right? Why you do your little witchcraft? Why you do your little judge? Right? Bro, that's vain. Right? A lot of these people, bro, they sold their soul to Satan. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha. And, check this out. And I went much, and it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, where was I? Revelation 12. And it says, and I went much because no man was found worthy to open and read the book. Am I on the right one? Yep, yep, yep. And neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Tribe of Judah. Right? The root of David had prevailed to open the book and what loose the seven seals thereof. So that would be Yahweh Shai, right? He was worthy, right? To open them seals, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, and be held, right? I low in the midst of the throne, and the elders stood a lamb, right? And it had been slain, having seven horns, we went there, and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the monster sent onto all the earth. That's the angels. Right? And it says, And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Right? And when he had taken the book, check this out. When he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four twenty elders fell down before the Lamb. Right? Having every one of them hearts, right? And golden vows full of odors, right? Which are the prayers of the saints, right? Which, guess what? When we pray, there's a particular angel that gathers up that prayer, right? Particular angels. Gabriel. I think it's, yeah, is it Gabriel? I think it's Gabriel. On Raphael, they, they gather up what? The prayers of the saints. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha. And they sung a new song saying, that are worthy to take the book, right? And to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain. And has redeemed us to the Most High by the blood out of every kindred. So the elect have been redeemed and tongue, and people, and nation, and has made us unto our power, kings and priests, and me shall reign on the earth, and be held, right? I heard the voice of many angels, right? Round about the throne, right? And the beasts, and the elders, and the number, of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands. So there's loads of angels that's ministering unto the Hawa Shai. Right? Then thousands of thousands of angels that were ministering. So before the throne, there's angels on the right hand side of the heavenly father. You don't speak English. Listen to that. But you know what? Yeah, they're ministering. Right? Unto Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father. And Lord, we've got to believe that. You know how much power there is in there? Right? Knowing the angels are ministering for us as well. Right? The angels are ministering to us. Right? They're gathering up our prayers. They're gathering up our words. Right? All these things. Right? They're receiving our prayers. They're guiding you. They're giving you topics. Right? When you feel sick, they're healing you. Bro, all these different things. Bro, this, this truth, it's all about faith. Right? It's all about faith. Okay? And it says, Baba Kishah. 
And it says, He has redeemed us, right? By the power, by the blood out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation. So when people read this, they say, out of every kindred, tongue, and nation. This is referring to Israelites, every tongue and nation. That's who he's referring to, right? Because our people are scattered in different lands. That's why it says, out of every tongue and nation, right? Every, okay? Because our people are scattered in different lands. So they're going to be redeemed out of what the lands they are scattered in. Right? And it says Baba Kasha. Check this out. And it says, and it's made unto us our power, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Right? And be held. I heard the voice of many angels. Right? Many. Round about the throne. And the beasts and the elders, which are also angels. And a number of them, right, was 10,000, 10 times 1,000, and thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, which was who? Yahweh And that's how we received that power. Right? Yeah, a lot of these people, man, this place is free. Right? But anyway, and it says, Riches and wisdom. Right? And strength and honor and glory, right? And blessing, right? So Yahweh has given all those things, right? The honor, glory, blessings, majesty, rulership. But he was slain first to receive that. Now you have demonic ass men saying, "Well, you're gonna have to be slain to receive that." You just got you got men that are very, very demonic in this truth, right? The way they perceive the truth, they they you got men that act like, "Well, if you sin, if you sin or you have any past sins that you have to die." No, because that's why Yahweh Shai was on the scene. You got men that are very carnal. Because if that was the case, everybody that committed a sin would have to die. You got men that are very, very, very carnal. Right? But Yahweh has died for the sins of the elect. Right? That's why it says, and redeemed. So we've been redeemed how? Huh? And who? Through Yahweh Shai. That's who we've been redeemed by. Yahweh Shai. He's brought us back. Right? And it says, Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar. Where was that? And every creature which is in heaven on earth and under earth, and such of in the sea, right? And all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing, honor, and glory, power be unto him that sit up upon the throne, right? And unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen, and four twenty elders fell down and worship him that live forever and ever, right? Them beasts. So Yahweh is being worshipped day and night. Right? Day and night. This individual's got this individual's got spirits on him. Right? This individual in that car that's taking stuff out of the car, he's got spirits on him. Right? How much time do you need to open a door and shut a door? See them them demons. <laughs> right, this is why you gotta be in the truth. This is why you gotta be in, in Yahweh Shai. Right? These people got demons jumping in. These people got demons jumping in and out of them. But this is what happens when you don't have the covering of Yahweh Shai. This is what happens. You just use it as a vessel, right, for, for evil. Okay. Well, let's continue, Baba Kasha. And noise of a fun of one of the four beasts saying, come and see. Right? So even the beasts, what they have control of a thunder and different elements. Okay. And it says, Baba Kasha. Baba Kasha. And I saw, behold, a white horse, right? And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, Yahweh Shai, and went forth conquering, right? Conquering. And to conquer. And when he had opened a seal, and he, 
I heard the second beast said, come and see. And they went to another horse that was red and power was given to him to sit there upon and take peace from the earth. Right? And they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword. What's that beast? It's the Roman Empire. Right? Which we are currently in today. The Roman Empire. Right? And the Roman, what's Esau looking to do? Take out the majority of what? The population. Right? Those that are not willing to comply with the new world order. Which most of these people, they are part of it anyway. And that's why they're walking around stupid. But they're stupid little handbags. They make sonic handbags. Right? Because they are part of the beast. Right? And they do it willingly. Right? So, yeah, this is this thing's going to get serious. Right? This thing's going to get real serious. But we have to be in Yahweh Shai. Okay. So, we went to that Baba Kisha. And yeah, the angels are watching. They're definitely watching. The angels are watching everything. Right? Um, see what else I can find. For sure, this is Psalms 89 and 7. The Most High is greatly to be what? Feared. Yahweh, I wish I feared. Right? In the assembly of the saints. So, what we need to do, we need to fear Yahweh Shai. There ain't no two ways about it. You better fear him. Right? Fear him. Because if you don't fear him, you could end up like, I don't know, the individuals that are, you know, Whatever happened on, around the corner, right? You got to fear him. You see what's happening. Just watch the news, right? So when you see these things upon the news, all these destruction and people getting judged, that's supposed to move you to fear, right? You're supposed to see that and say, well, you know what, man, I better fear because I don't want to end up in that same situation. Rick, that's what you're supposed to be doing. If you're wives, right? If you are wives, you go and fear. Right? And it says Baba Kasha. And to be had in reverence. Right? Of all them that are about him. Right? So we're supposed to fear Yahweh Yahweh That's the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord. If you don't fear Yahweh Shai, you're done out here. Right? You got people doing witchcraft, obia, judge. Bro, that means you don't fear Yahweh Shai. You have um demonic networks. Even in Nigeria, you have demonic networks. Yeah, trafficking, organ trafficking. Bro, you got all that going on, right? That's why you got a fair, you got a fair Yahweh of a shay, right? You have to fear him, and that's the beginning of um, wisdom, right? That is the beginning of wisdom, the fear of the Lord, right? And in reverence of all them about him, so even the angels, they're about Yahweh shay, so they were gonna what fear him, right? Bro, why are you looking at me and smiling? Right? You fucking see some fucking cyborgs, man. Cyborgs. Programmed. Right? Programmed to be dummies, robots. Right? See the AI here, the mark of the beast is here. In real time. And you got this individual on the side of me as well, sitting down with his stupid Masonic gesture. Right? But the Lord, guess what? Guess what? The Lord, if you're not right, the Lord can have you here. Listen to this word, just so you can be condemned. Just so you can get condemned. Right? Oh, it's beautiful how the Lord sets things up. Right? You know when people think they got one over you? No, Yahweh is in control. The Lord, the Lord's setting you up. Right? And you know why a lot of people have to wear, not all, you know why a lot of people have to wear dark glasses? Because they got demons. And the scripture says the eyes are the windows of the soul. I'm not saying everyone that wears glasses. But the scripture says the eyes are the window to thy soul. Right? So certain people wear glasses because they, they're full of demons. Right? They've got demons all up in their inward parts. Right? Oh, it's going to be beautiful when the Lord brings that judgment, man. It's going to be beautiful. Excuse me just a minute. So we went into that Baba Kasha. And I want to go to Psalms. I'm just flying with the spirit. This is Psalms 74. Right? And arise, O power. Plead that on course. Remember how the foolish man reproacheth thee daily. 
plead that cause and remember how the foolish man reproacheth thee daily. So you have the foolish that are reproaching the men of the Lord and reproaching. If they're reproaching the men of the Lord, they're reproaching Yahweh Shai. Right? And it says the foolish are doing this. Right? So we want, yeah, we want Yahweh Shai to judge them. Right? According. For the foolish man reproaches thee. Right? And you know, you know, my enemies, some of them, yeah, I put curses upon them. I put curses on all my enemies in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Right? At all. Right? And it says, Remember how the foolish man reproacheth thee daily. So the foolish man is reproaching the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Daily. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, forget not the voice of thine enemies. Right? So we don't want Yahweh Shai to forget the voice of our enemies. We want him to remember the voice of our enemies. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, and the turmoil of those that rise up against the increase continually because we have many that are rising up against the prophets continually <laughs> so don't forget the turmoil of those that rise up against thee right and the Lord ain't going to forget their turmoil right the Lord's got them marked and he's got them marked for destruction two thirds of our nation right because I said two thirds of our nation they're not right they trust in this world they trust if in lies, they trust in deception, right? That's what they trust in, right? Deceitfulness, lies, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha. And this is turmoil of those that rise up against thee continually. So within this kingdom, it's like an anti mashiach kingdom. Because the scripture says there's many antichrists. Let's go to 1 John. It's always interesting what scriptures read because I never know what I'm going to go into. This is 1 John 4. Believe, beloved, believe not every spirit. So you can't be gullible. Believe not every spirit. Can't be gullible out here. Right? But try the spirits whether they are of the most high. So you've got to try, you've got to test the spirit. Right? You've got to test them spirits out. Right? Try. Test that. How do you test the spirits? By the word. Right? Because many false prophets have gone out. Many. Into the world. So there's also, yeah, many false prophets that haven't really been sent divinely by Yahweh Shai. Right? That's why it says many. Key thing many false prophets that's why you've also got to be um, be, a, be careful be aware who you're listening to right what they're teaching right all these things because many false prophets have gone out into the world deceiving many right everybody you know the spirit of the most sight yeah, there's many false prophets in them churches as well them churches are teaching lies yeah, and that's another thing. You you're teaching the truth of this word. You're shaking up things. You are shaking up things. Why? Because we know the churches, right? They're corrupt. And the churches as well, your pastors, your pastors are working witchcraft on you. That's what your pastors are doing. Your pastors ain't teaching you the truth, right? You wonder why they've got a nice big Land Rover, three-piece uh, three suit, all of that. But they're ripping you off. They're not teaching their, their congregations what's about to happen. They're lying. And yeah, we're messing up the church's money. That's why also the pastors, they send their, their, um, their agents as well. This is what they do. The pastors send their agents. Because when you're teaching the truth, people, if they hear it, they're going to say, hold on, this is the truth. So what, am I, what has my pastor been teaching me? What have they actually been teaching me all this time? Right? They've been, they've been teaching me lies. So this is what happens. And they start to lose followers. And that's good they start to lose followers, right? This is what happens. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, Abad, 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 Abad. If you don't come in um, sincere intent, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, destroy you. If you ain't coming in sincere um, intent, may Yahweh Shah destroy you. Let this word be a, a, a curse unto you. If you're not coming 
with pure intent. All right? Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. So, we got to pay attention to all types of things. Don't think for one minute, all right, you're teaching this truth. Don't think for one minute that, well, nothing's happening. No, churches, you're affecting their money. Certain churches are closing down because you have people leaving. Because now you're teaching the truth. All right? These, bro, these things happen. All right? These things happen. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha. And it says, Hereby I know you the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh is of the most high. Right? So that's one of the most important things as well. You have to confess and you have to believe in what the record of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? You have to believe in his record. Right? Bro, our people are simple. Our people are simple, man. You look at our people, they just they just look simple as hell. Right? Okay. And they're gonna die in their sins as well. Alright? Welcome to the New World Order. Community policing. Right? Welcome to the New World Order. Alright? And it says Baba Kasha. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh, right? Is not of the most high. Right? So you've got to believe your house came in the flesh. That's part of that record. The true record. Right? The true record of your house Mashiach. Okay? And it says Baba Kasha. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, Anti Mashiach. Well, we have heard that it should come. Right? So the Antichrist is already here. Right? The Antichrist is here already. And what's the Antichrist? Anybody that's against the Messiah. That's the Antichrist. Right? Your New Agers, they're Antichrist. The New Agers believe in Satan. That's who they worship. Right? So anybody that's against this word. Right? They're anti Mashiach. Okay? Why? Because the scriptures say so. Okay? And it says Baba Kasha. Baba Kasha. Boy, this place is filthy, man. The whole spirit just got a stench. It's got a filthy stench to it. Alright? And it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. This is the spirit of the anti Christ, the anti Mashiach. Alright? And it says, Where you have heard that it shall come. Alright? And even now it already is in the world. Right, so the spirit of the anti mashiach is in the world. Right? And it says, Ye of the most high little children have overcome the world. So it's already been written. We've already overcome this world. It's already written that we've overcome this world. Right? And it says, Ye of the most high. Right? Little children have overcome them. So already it's already been written. Right? The elect have already overcome. Right? It's already been written. Right? Alright, this place is through. This place is through. Right? Alright, um, degeneracy is at an all time long. People, the, mo the moral quality, right? All time long. Right? That's why you got to that's why you gotta hold on to this truth. And it says, and have overcome them. I right, always keep this in full. Always keep this in full. It says, and overcome them. So the elect, guess what? They've overcame the world. Right? And have overcome them. Who? The world. Right? But no, the world hasn't overcome you. You've overcome them. The scriptures say it. Right? And have overcome them. Right? So any type of judge, any type of judge, any type of witchcraft, any type of familiar spirits, that has no effect because you've already overcame the world. You've overcome them. Right? And it says, 
They are of the world, therefore they speak of the world. So a lot of people, they're of this world, man. They're speaking of this world, right? They glorify this world. Why? Because they're of the world, right? So if you're of this world, you're going to glorify this world. We are not of this world, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, and the world heareth them, because they speak of the world, right? Their mannerisms are of the world, because they speak of the world. We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High, heareth us. And he that is not of the Most High, heareth not us. How simple as that. Right? Even the way these fucking people walk, bro, it's robotic. It's like, they, it's, like, it's like they've got a battery in their back. Tell them what to, tell them what to do. Bro, this is why things are going to change, man. You're supposed, to, bro, you're supposed to be pissed off with the way society is. If you're not, then there's a problem, right? If you're comfortable to, with, with the way things are, then bro, there's a huge problem, right? You're supposed to be vexed. Lot said he was vexed with the conversation of the wicked, right? He was vexed, he wasn't happy. Seeing flamers walk, walk about, right? And your little, what's it, pride parade, right? Where flamers are getting celebrated, right? And that's being pushed as well to your offspring. And if they don't celebrate it, oh no, that's that's what, no, no. That's why it's gonna be. That's why it's gonna be a reset. That's why it's going to be a reset. And not us hereby know we the spirit of the spirit of error, right? But let us love one another. For love is of the Most High. Everyone that love is born of the Most High, not of the Most High. So we went into that. Right? There's many antichrists. Your average citizen is an antichrist. Believe in some type of form of religion, even if he doesn't believe in any religion, he's still an antichrist. Right? So we went to that. Alright. See what else we can find. And really, our, our duty is to bring people and bid them to the marriage and bring our people to Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's our duty. And lay up them spiritual treasures, man. This is verse. Hold on just a minute. You know, go to Luke 13. I find this interesting. This is Luke 13. And it says, we were present at the season, right? Season. Some that told him of the Galileans at that time, right? Which were Israelites, right? The Galileans, excuse me just a minute. The lighting on this ain't too good, but anyway, it doesn't matter, right? So the Galileans, right? And it says, check this out. I told him when the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices, mingled. So, uh, Pilate, this they were demonic. It said mingled with their sacrifices, right? And it says, Baba Kasha. And Yahabashtra answered and said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, right? Because they suffered such things, right? So Yahabashtra was saying, Well, were they more sinners of those that were in Galilee? Because they suffered such a terrible fate. Hold on a minute. What was that? Oh, that's just a bird set up fell off a chicken ball. <laughs> right? And it says Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha, since they suffered such thing, I tell you neighbor, except you repent, you shall always, likewise, you shall all what, likewise perish. So you had those that were telling Yahweh about the story of Pilate, that was what? Mingling the sacrifices, right? And so forth, okay? And, right? Yahweh was saying, lest you repent, 
you're going to suffer elsewhere. So they were doing wicked sacrifices. They were mingling blood, blood rituals and so forth. This is what they were doing, right? Blood rituals and so forth. But Yahweh says, you shall suffer likewise if you don't repent. And this still goes on today in a lot of countries. Rituals, obia, magic. So that was even going on then, all right? But Yahweh was saying, unless you repent, you shall suffer likewise. You're going to suffer that same fate. Right? And it says Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall also likewise perish. Simple as that. You because they were bringing oh Yahabasha, look what happened to them. But well, Yahabasha was like, what have you repented? If you haven't repented, you're gonna suffer that same fate. If you ain't repented. Right? And it says Baba Kishar. And all those 18 upon whom the tower of Saliyam fell, so there was a tower of Saliyam, right? And it says, and slew them, right? Think they were not sinners above all, right? The nation, right? So this, read it again. And slew them, think they were not sinners above all, men that dwelt at Jerusalem, right? So, again, you had the tower of Saliyam that fell upon what Israelites, and what was it said? Well, you think they were not sinners above all, right? Within that region, right? Just because they suffered such a fate, right? And it says, Baba Kisha. It says, and I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall likewise perish. So the key thing is what? Repentance, right? That's the key thing. Repentance. Or you shall likewise perish. Right? And that's what that's what we teach. That's why we don't come out here on that holy and holy and nice spirit. Right? Unless you repent, you won't perish. Right? It's as simple as that. Right? You have to repent from your sins and confess your sins and simple confess your sins. Right? That the Lord may have mercy upon you. In the time of his refreshing. See what else I can find. Go to Romans 10. Romans 10 and go to straight to verse you know what forget to burn up my incense I forgot I had incense here baby just a minute put this on pause I'm trying to stay awake because it's one thing being awake and having the faith now it's maintaining the faith yes you have to actually you have to take action yes mm -hmm. to heal so what you do today just spreading the word to those that are open to receiving yeah Oh, yeah. And those that have ears to hear, will hear. Most people just walk past and fan their hand and yeah. But you know what is um yes, and the man's ways are of the Lord, and the man um he doesn't direct his own steps. All our steps are directed by the heavenly Father. So even you turning and coming here. That was directed by the heavenly father, the oh, angels. Yes. Oh, yes. And they had to turn around and come right here. Yeah, but, but spirit knows spirit, you know. Hmm? Spirit knows spirit. Oh, yeah, the spirits of the prophets are subject to those prophets. I'm sure. 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 Who knows? Um, the Lord could he could give you a blessing. He could save you just for coming up here and giving me a good word. You know? Oh yeah. But yeah, you're on the side. You're on the board. Where, where's your father? Jamaica. Jamaica. Oh, yes, and, and my mother. Oh, you're Benjamin. Yeah, you're Benjamin according to the Bible. Benjamin means um, son of the right. Actually, yeah, Benjamin, Judah, Levi. These are the southern tribes. Three tribes, the southern tribes, Haitians. 
exalted me was the Messiah. His name is Yahweh Shai, growing up, he's ruling Judas. His name is Yahweh Shai, he came from the tribe of Judah. If he was on the earth today, they'd be calling him a so called Negro. And you have Benjamin, so called West Indians, but basically these were the slave names that we were given. And these are our biblical names. Are you familiar with the Bible? Somewhat. Uh -huh. I am a baby and learned. I've been a student for life anyway. Mm -hmm. So, learning and learning. But again, the Bible being the most adulterated book on the planet, it, it's about which Bible one chooses mm -hmm. to deliver yeah. their knowledge from. Right? And then it's also about the brain that the Most High gave us, how to apply critical thinking and cross reference, but also to remind self that the Bible is written critically. So you have to read through that. So I have a teacher, Papa Ayo, um, you have a cosmology, that's what he teaches you. So uh, for me, that's where my brain is good. And I've been able ever since to see from that because we were living in illusion. So on this fake earth plane, you know, we can kind of see through it to a certain extent. Yeah. So yeah, I, I suspect you're about to read me a line or a verse. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, go ahead. That's, what I've that's got why I stopped. So it's it good. Interesting. You said this, this world is an illusion. Mm. It definitely is. It's like the matrix. It is. A lot of things are synchronized, the patterns. It's like they teach you how to live. Basically, you get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. So now let's go to Romans 10. All right? Romans 10. Let's see if we can find some. This is Romans 10. And jump straight to verse 8. But what saith it? The word is nigh to thee. All right? Even in thy mouth, in thy heart, that is the word of faith. So, so the word of faith is there. All right? Even in thy mouth, it's the words that we speak, the words that we're teaching. All right? And it says. And in our heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. So we're preaching it right now, the word of faith which we preach. All right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jehovah shall Mashiach and shall believe in thy heart, and thou also have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So you just have to believe. That's all you have to do. That's all. That's all they have any problem. Just believe. Right? And confess the name of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai ain't asking for much. Alright? And it says, Baba Kasha. Where was that? For the scripture, hold on. For with the heart man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made of salvation. So all we gotta do is confess his name. Alright? Confession is made unto salvation. Alright? And it says, Baba Kasha. For the scripture saith, right? Whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed. So scripture says that all we gotta do is believe it on Yahweh Shai and we shall not be ashamed. That's all. Right? But you've got to keep that faith in Yahweh Shai first. Right? And if you keep in that faith, God's gonna look after you. Right? It's gonna make sure you're good. Right? That's all we gotta do. I say it's one thing having the faith, it's another thing maintaining right? maintaining that faith, that belief. Right? And it says Baba Kisha. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich that called upon him. So there's no difference. Because they're both Israelites. And he's rich to those that call upon him. Right? 
Let me check the time. Because I want to keep this one slightly shorter. Right? So that's the main thing. Falling upon your how by shape. There's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Because one was a Jew. And another was a Greek. That was an Israelite. Corinthians. Go to Corinthians. Just a minute. See if I can find it. Okay. All right. Bro, it's, it's it's daytime and you got your lights on. You got your light. You got your lights on. Huh? All right, mate. All right. Huh? I said, all right. That why them demons are getting outraged. Right? It's, 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 it's daytime. Right? Are we, are we going to come out of it? We're going to get out of it. Right? We're going to get out of it. Right? Let's go to 1 Corinthians, Baba Kasha. Right? This is 1 Corinthians. Hey, we're going to get out of it. Right? <laughs> this is 1 Corinthians, Baba Kasha. See, sometimes you just got to use the sermon. Right? 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolish, but unto us which are saved by the power of the Most High. Right? So again, the wisdom of this world is foolishness. Right? But unto us which are saved, it is the power of the Most High. Right? And it says, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the pure prudent, right? Alert men, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Right? Have not the most I chosen the foolish? Things of the wisdom of this world. So the Lord you have tried chose chooses what the foolish things of this world. Right? Well, you know what? Things that may seem foolish. Right? And it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. For after that, in the wisdom of the, the most high, the world by wisdom knew not the most high, it pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So this pleases you have a shy. The foolishness of preaching to say them that believe. So sometimes it does seem foolish, but it's pleasing to your Shai. Right? And it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Check this out. Check this out. For the Jews require a sign, the Jews in Jerusalem, right? And the Greeks seek after wisdom. So you had the Jews in Jerusalem, they were seeking for a sign for the um, Messiah. And you have the Greeks that seek after wisdom. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, because the foolishness of the Most High is what? Wiser than men. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. For see your calling, brethren, right? How right? Not many wise, but after the flesh, not many wise, right? After the flesh. Not many, what, noble. So you're going to have wise men in this truth, but it says, not many after the flesh. Right? And it says, not many wise men after the flesh, not many university graduates. Right? And it says, not many mighty. So you're not going to have many Mike Tysons within this truth. You're still going to have a few. Not many noble. From, from a certain background, right? Are called, okay? And it says, Baba Kisha. But the most have chosen the foolish things of this world, right? The foolish things, okay? Of this world. So most of the things in this world are foolish, right? That's what the most high has chosen, okay? 
where you dress up for church. <laughs> Even though it's Saturday, I know you dress up. Anyways, and it says, for the most I've chosen the foolish things, right? Of the world to confound the wise. Right? So that's what he's using. Right? Things that are deemed as foolish. To confound the so-called wise. Right? And it says, and to confound things which are mighty and the base things of this world, right? And the things which are despised have the most I chosen, right? Yeah, the things which are not, right? To bring to naught that things that are. So that's what the Lord does. And I'm telling you, this is how his power is shown, right? That's how the Heavenly Father's power is shown, by him doing that. Right? So with this lesson, I'm going to shut off here. Lord willing, I usually would go on longer. But I want to shut off here. Lord willing, this was edifying. And until the next time, shut up to the hopeful elect. Shut up.